Hi, I'm going to try to build up the idea of a lens from the concept of a prism. Here's a prism, and you can see that light bends in this prism twice, once at this interface, this boundary, and once at this boundary. And as we saw in Unit 6, you could draw the normal line to this boundary here, and light moves towards the normal, bends towards the normal, since it's going from a fast material to a slow material. So it bends there, but then at the other end, it bends, there's a new normal line that we would draw. It bends away from the normal, so this angle is smaller in the slow material than this angle in the fast material air. So light bends again. And the fact that these two uh, sides are not parallel means that we've actually redirected the light. If we have two sides that are parallel, It bends, it bends again, but it continues on in the same direction if the two sides are parallel. So you might ask, why do we care? Why would we want the sides not to be parallel? Why do we want to bend the light? And the answer is because all of our vision depends on this concept of bending light into a different direction. If our eyes, if the front of our eyes were just like parallel rays, uh, excuse me, parallel pieces of glass, we wouldn't be able to focus light. We'd only be able to move it here and there. So what I'm going to try to explain is, is why a lens works the way it does. If you think of what you'd like to be able to do, is you'd like to be able to take light from one location. Let's just say it's, the, um, it's a red bird in the distance. And you'd like all that light to travel. Let's take all of the light from that red bird light reflects off the red bird and goes off in all different directions. We would like to be able to take all that light uh, that goes into a certain area and bring it back to a focus at another area. So it, what it does is it makes our ability to see things much stronger if we take all the light that's coming off of that into a bigger area and refocus it into a smaller area. Our eyes do that. And this is how they do it. If you have a, uh, let me use this one, if you have two lines that are pretty, or two boundaries that are pretty close to parallel, the closer they are to parallel, in other words, the smaller this angle is between them, the less it bends. These two have a very small angle, and it bends somewhat. These two sides have a very much bigger angle, and it bends a whole lot more. So if you think of a lens as having, um, having the two sides, and this is a convex lens, if you think of the, that lens as looking like this, this is why it's shaped like this. Up at the top, it's got a big, uh, big angle there between the two sides, and it bends light a lot. In the middle, it's got a smaller angle between them. I can't line it up on there, but a smaller angle means it bends it less. In the middle, it doesn't bend it at all. And then on the other side, you can see that same sort of thing. Down here, those two sides are kind of uh, a fairly small angle. It bends it somewhat. And then at the bottom, oops, there it is. It bends it a lot. So what happens when you put all that together is this. See how the top part bends it a lot, a little, none, a little, a lot. And you end up having this focus back here. And this is called the focal point, focal point back here. And the focal point is where parallel rays would all come together. It turns out that that's not even as... Uh, what's useful to us in uh, in our eyeballs because if you think this is the front of the lens at your eyeball excuse me the front of the eyeball which we call the lens in the back of your eye is a sensing a detecting place called the retina and the retina we would actually like all the light from one object out here again let's say it's a red bird way out here we would like all the light that reflects off that red bird that hits that hole to come to the same spot on our retina. And you can sort of see how that's happening. Way back here, not at the focal point, but at this other location, 
all the light that's coming out of the, off that red bird that hits this opening focuses again back here. So that means it's really bright back here. If we could, and I don't recommend it, <clears throat> if we could cut open your eye and look in from the side, um, we would see an exact image of what is out here, what you're looking at. <clears throat> so right now, if you're looking at this video, there's a red line along the back of your retina uh, because the this light here is going into the lens and focusing back again into a line on the back of your retina. And those sensors are saying, hey, there's red light hitting this spot. Um, I'll talk a little bit about vision very briefly, <clears throat> but um, in the next video, but this is the concept of a lens, build up from the concept of prisms.